Hi, welcome. I'm going to show you now how to connect C sound using OSC with other software, for example, PD. I've got my PD here ready to send on localhost port 9999 and a couple of messages uh, to send the values. So let's go to C sound. Uh, I've already ha I already have my header here and I'm going to create an instrument uh, to receive uh, the OSC data. The first thing we need to do is initialize an OSC port. This is done using the OSC init opcode. What we need to give the OSC init is a port number, 999, which is the one I'm using here in PD. And this uh, port will be handled inside C sound using a handle. So I'm going to call it GI OSC1. So whenever I want to call port 9999, I will call it by the handle. Now I'm going to use OSC listen to receive whatever's coming on that uh, port. First, I need to give it the handle, which I've called GI OSC1. Then I need to give it the route, the path where I want to receive, which is AMP, which is what I've got set up here on PD. And finally, the data type I'm going to be receiving. You can receive any combination of numbers, strings, a list there. I'm just going to receive a, sim a single floating point number. Remember, if, if you need to check uh, uh, data types, just press Shift F1 on Qt C sound and you can check the documentation for the OSC listen opcode. Um, finally, the last uh, input argument is a bit odd because it's actually the output argument. So here we're going to receive KAMP. This is one of the few exceptions in C sound where the output is actually on the right. Um, on the left, the output of the OSC listen opcode is actually just a, a trigger to let you know that something has been received, but the actual data will be received here. For that reason, we also need to initialize the variable before we're using it. So I'm going to initialize KAMP to zero and then I'm going to receive it here on the right side of OSC listen. Then I'm going to create an oscillator, just a simple sine wave oscillator with that amplitude, frequency 440 and using F table one. Now I'm going to create that F table, just a simple sine wave. And finally, I'm going to turn on that instrument for say 300 seconds. And of course, don't forget to send the oscillator to the outputs. So this should now run. And this is listening for the values on this on this path, but it's currently initialized to zero. So when we send things here, C sound is receiving that data and of course changing the, the oscillator accordingly. I'm going to show you now how to um, send data from C sound to other applications. When you send data, you don't need the OSC in it any longer. That's just when you use a listener. Because uh, using a single, a single opcode, you can send data. Uh, the opcode is called OSC send. <clears throat> and it works like this. The first argument is when. This is sort of a trigger that uh, determines when to send the data. Um, if you want to send it just once, you can put a zero because it's always sent the first time. But uh, on, on, uh, on further uh, sends, you usually want to put the data you're going to send there so that when it changes, it is sent. I'll show you how. Let's create a simple oscillator, a control rate oscillator with amplitude 500, frequency of 0 0.1 0 and table 1. So what I'm going to do is put KOSC here. It's not being sent, but whenever KOSC sends, uh, changes, it, uh, it is sent via OSC. Next, you have to give the port. I'm going to send it to the local host. But, uh, sorry, the host. Then the port. I'm going to use 998. And the destination. This is the path. I'm going to call it data. Next is the data type. Again, I'm going to send just a single floating point number. And finally, the data you want to send, in this case, KOSC. So I'm just going to run it. This will start sending 
the values across. I've got it ready here in PD, just a dump OSC object, and I'm routing the data path. And as you can see, it's just oscillating between uh, 500 and minus 500. So that's it, nothing more to it. Uh, if you want further information in Qt C sound, getting started, real time interaction, you'll find a nice example about open sound control uh, where, C, where Qt C sound is, will be talking to itself via OSC. But everything's uh, there very clear. Okay, see you on the next one.